I wanted to ask you about Neil Warnock because obviously one of the most iconic managers in the UK. You, 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 you went from Millwall to Sheffield United. He was the manager there. Didn't get along, so transferred uh, to Crystal Palace. And then he followed you to Crystal Palace and again, uh, ended up moving you on. What, what was he like to work with? And was it purely down to injuries? Yeah, a lot of it was. I, I think it was just timing as well. Like I, I played in the championship. I was a good championship player. I probably was a little bit too much of a luxury for the Premier League in the team that we had. We needed we needed eleven guys that were going to go and give an absolute shift. And and I was like I said earlier, I was somebody who was a bit flamboyant, liked to put the ball at risk. You put the ball at risk in the Premier League in the wrong places, mate. It's, it's in the back of your net real quick. So I think I played the first three games of the season, um, and then he pretty quickly said to me, "Look, I, you know, I see you as a sub." He was taking me to, you know, I was off to Fulham and off to Tottenham and I'd just sit on the bench and I wouldn't even get a sniff of coming on. And I spoke to the assistant manager. I said, look, if he's going to take me to all these places and not put me on, he might as well not take me. So then he just didn't take me. <laughs> so that was, <laughs> that, that was that was a learning learning moment for sure. So I, uh, it came sort of towards Christmas time and, and I spoke to him and said, look, can, can I get out of here? I'm clearly not going to play for you in the Premier League. Um, I'd like to sort of see if I can get a move and put the feelers out. And Leeds United and, and Palace came in for me to sign me. Um, and I thought oh, I'd like to go back down south, closer to home. And, and off I went to Palace. And the, and the funny thing was, he actually said to me, he said, look, be good down there because you never know when you're going to see me. So it, something was obviously in the pipeline because you wouldn't say that otherwise. And then Peter Taylor got sacked a few weeks after I'd, I'd been there. And I'm, I'm like, oh, it's not a few months after I've been there, sorry. And um, we were all talking in the change room one day. And I said, I'm telling you now, Warnock's going to get the job because he, he was out of work by that point because he'd been, he'd been sacked by Sheffield United. And lo and behold, he gets the job. He, he comes into the into the... We were in the dining room, all of us sitting there waiting for him to come in. He, and he burst through the door. I see. How are you, son? I told you you'd see me soon. And the boys just absolutely cracked up. But look, he was he was good for me at Palace. Um, he he played me. Um, he knew I was decent in the championship. So I think that step down, he knew that I could be myself and put the ball at risk and, and be a bit flamboyant. And we had players that were good enough to sort of get me out of trouble. So I played a lot of games under him when I was fit. I think the, the problem there was, was I wasn't fit often enough. I, I remember that, that last season I was at the club. I think I played 38 games, but honestly, I reckon I must have had 10 games where I was having fitness tests on the morning of the game. And sometimes I'd make it, sometimes I wouldn't. So I, I think I was just annoying him, really. He knew what I could do, but I just couldn't get fit. 